relation to the problems uh, in the signal distortions in the optical fiber communication. So now we have the another problem. The input power to an optical fiber is 2 millivats, while the power measured at the output end is uh, 2 microwatts. If the fiber attenuation is 0.5 decibels per kilometer, calculate the length of the fiber. Given P of 0 means uh, the input power launched to the optical fiber is 2 milliwatts. It is 2 in 10 power minus 3 watts and uh, output power at the distance of Z uh, is that is P of Z is equal to 2 microwatts that is 2 in 10 power minus 6 watts and alpha is equal to 0 0.5 decibels per kilometer which is the attenuation loss. So we need to find uh, the length of the optical fiber at which output obtained is 2 microwatts and the loss is 0.5 decibels per kilometers. Use the formula to measure the attenuation decibels that is attenuation decibels alpha is equal to 10 into 1 by z p of 0 by p of z substituting uh, alpha value p of 0 and p of z will get will uh, evaluate z value then z is equal to 3 by 0 0.05 nothing but z is equal to 60 kilometers next is material dispersion material dispersion is also called as chromatic dispersion material dispersion exists due to change in the index of the refraction for different wavelengths a light ray contains components of various wavelengths centered at wavelength lambda is equal to 10 lambda the, the time delay is different for the different uh, wavelength components this results in time di dispersion of the pulse at the receiving end of the fiber the figure 2.6 point to show the index of refraction as a function of the optical wavelength the material dispersion for the needle length l is equal to 1 which is given by the material dispersion for the needle length l is equal to 1 is given by d material which material dispersion is equal to minus lambda by c into d square n by d lambda square. So here you are observing the index of refraction as a function of the wavelengths. The index of the refraction varies uh, along with the, the changes uh, in the values of the wavelength in micrometers. Where c is the light velocity, lambda is the center wavelength. d square n by d lambda square is the second derivative of the index of refraction with respect to the wavelength. The negative sign shows that the upper sideband signal, which means lowest wavelength, that arises before the lower sideband, that is highest wavelength. The unit of dispersion is uh, picoseconds per nanometers. The amount of metal dispersion depends upon the chemical composition of the glass. Let's move on to the problem 7. An LED is uh, operating at 850 nanometers as spectral width of 4, 45 nanometers. What is the pulse spreading in nanoseconds per kilometer to meter dispersion? So write that constants given in the problem. The wavelength lambda is equal to 850 nanometers. And uh, the spectral width uh, sigma is equal to 45 nanometers. Pulse broadening due to metal dispersion is given by sigma into m is equal to sigma into lm considering length l is equal to 1 meter. Material dispersion d mat is equal to minus lambda by c into d square n by d lambda square. Then substituting the values for LED source operating at 850 nanometers, it is lambda square into d square n by d lambda square which is equal to 0 0.025 and m is equal to 1 by c lambda into lambda square into d square n by d lambda square that is equal to 1 by 3 in 10 power 5 into 850 into 0 0.025 m is equal to 9.8 picoseconds per nanometer per kilometers dear students try to understand once again an led operating at 850 nanometer has spectral width of 45 nanometers so what is the pulse spreading in nanosecond per kilometer due to material dispersion so the wavelength given the problem lambda is equal to 850 nanometers the spectral width of sigma is equal to 45 nanometers. First broadening due to material dispersion is given by sigma into m is equal to sigma into lm where l is the length which is equal to 1 meter. Then material dispersion constant d mat is equal to minus lambda by c into 
d square n by d lambda square for LED source operating at 850 nanometers so then lambda square d square n by d lambda square is equal to 0 0.025 then uh, m is equal to 1 by c lambda into lambda square into d square n by d lambda square substituting the values and we will get m is equal to 9.8 picoseconds per nanometer per kilometer that is sigma m is equal to 441 nanoseconds per kilometer waveguide dispersion waveguide dispersion is caused by difference in the index of uh, refraction between the the core and the cladding resulting in a drag effect between the core and cladding portions of the power waveguide dispersion is significant only in fibers carrying the fewer than 5 to 10 modes since multi-mode optical fibers carry hundreds of modes they will not have observable wavelength dispersion the group delay that is uh, um, waveguide dispersion arising due to wave, uh, the, the group delay arising due to waveguide dispersion is given by dou into omega g is equal to l by c into n2 plus n2 into delta into d of kb divided by dk where b is the normalized propagation constant k is equal to pi by lambda that is group velocity normalized frequency v is equal to ka into n1 square minus n2 square volt to the power of 1 by 2 then the waveguide dispersion the dou omega g is equal to l by c into n2 plus n2 into lamp delta d into v naught by dv that is the dvb by dv the second term is the waveguide dispersion d dvb dv dv is the waveguide dispersion and is the mode dependent term as frequency is a function of wavelength the group velocity of the energy varies with frequency the produces additional losses that is waveguide dispersion the propagation constant varies with wavelength that causes uh, the causes of which are independent of the material dispersion the last next problem for a single mode fiber n2 is equal to 1.48 and 0.2 percent operating at a is equal to 320 nanometer compute the waveguide dispersion so if v into d square vb by dv square is equal to 0 0.26 so this is the problem on the waveguide dispersion on the single mode fiber or single mode fiber refractive index of the cladding is 1.48 and and the 0 0.2 percent which is delta is 0 0.2 percent um, which is operating at a is equal to or that is uh, lambda is equal to 1320 both a and lambda are same compute the waveguide dispersion if uh, v in d square v by dv square is 0 0.26 the constant value also given then write the formula that uh, waveguide dispersion is equal to minus uh, n2 into delta divided by c lambda into v in d square v by dv square substituting the n value then uh, delta value, n2 value, delta value, c value and lambda value, we will get uh, lambda wg is minus 1.943 picoseconds per nanometer. So this is uh, about uh, the problems on the waveguide dispersion. So I want to tell you once again this uh, uh, is very very important, waveguide dispersion. Waveguide dispersion is caused by difference in the index of uh, the refraction between the core and the cladding resulting in a drag effect between the core and cladding portions of the power. The waveguide dispersion is significant only in fibers carrying fewer than 5 to 10 modes since multi-mode optical fibers carry hundreds of modes they will not have observable waveguide dispersion. The group delay which is arising due to waveguide dispersion. This waveguide dispersion causes group delay to arise so we have the relationship uh, we have the expression for the the waveguide the dispersion l by c i mean the group delay uh, lambda into omega g is equal to l by c into n2 plus n2 delta into dkb by dk where b is the normalized propagation constant k is equal to 2 pi by lambda 
which is uh, where 2 pi is the where k is the group velocity then normalized frequency v is equal to k a into n1 square minus n2 square volt to the power of half the group delay is this then second term is the wave dispersion d into v by dv is the wave dispersion so we need to calculate d into v by dv that is the wave dispersion this is mode dependent term therefore in this problem so you are going to calculate wave dispersion means you are going to calculate dvb by dv so for this uh, delay in the waveguide dispersion we are going to calculate that is 1.943 picoseconds per nanometers because d v d square v by dv square is given we should calculate delay in the group delay which means that with that arises due to uh, waveguide dispersion okay thank you for uh, watching this uh, the video